What's up, Snackcast? What's going down? Welcome back. It's Friday here um, at YFHQ. Frank the Tank. <laughs> you got anything going this weekend? Not really. Got volleyball. Yeah, yeah we got youth soccer. So Yay. It'll fun. be good. We got splatter at church. That's always, you know, the kids enjoy that. But nice. anyways, um, what are we we're, talking about? we're on still on minerals and we are moving today is iodine. Nice. Iodine symbol. Guess. Guess what the symbol is. I. <laughs> I thought it was I. I was going Atomic back to mine. number 53. Failed chemistry days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, like most of the others, trace mineral, it's essential for the production of thyroid. Yes, thyroid hormones. Nice work. Nice. See, I did my homework. Yep. So, um, it is found most easily in the ocean, is what I came across. And um, we always were able to get it historically because, like, 90% of all civilization in the history of the world was coastal sounds like it needs to be coastal again possibly yeah right so that's one of the things that i when you're when you're deficient um you know it's if it's not in the ocean it needs to be in the soil if it's in, in how it gets into the animals is obviously the plants and how it, if the plants don't have it the animals don't have it we don't have it and th- this is the whole cycle right? Effect, that right the um same thing is if the soil's depleted and the plants can't um so does that literally mean like they need to be using more dead fish as dead dead no i I think it's naturally found in soil Uh, the closer you are to the coast just naturally found well i think i mean i guess reinforcing the soils is my point like when they use I think it's in the soil and the way it gets to the ocean is through erosion okay, and sediment and whatever. So it just happens that I think most of the minerals are this way. They're, they're found more abundantly in the ocean. I think in large part, that's why every single one of these has told us to eat fish and shellfish. Yeah. You know, because they're just higher in eroded minerals. So evidently this is like a big deal. It's a big deal. Two billion, with a B, people are evidently deficient in iodine. How did you get that number? That's a big number. Google. <laughs> Google you? <laughs> right. School of Hard Knocks? Um, so, yeah, it's uh, like... It's it's a big deal. It's, it, and so so the deficiency, uh, I don't know if these are the results or the symptoms, but um, I got some pretty damning stuff. All right, let's hear it. So the thyroid needs it to operate correctly. Deficient or toxic both lead to very similar, if not identical, symptoms and outcomes. Okay. At a very basic level, it's slowed metabolic rate, fatigue, weight gain. Okay. At a severe level, I don't even want to say severe, at more than just slightly off um can turn into goiter saw that that's the The, yeah when the neck is swelled out so deficient or toxic the thyroid i believe if i read it correctly has that same goiter um swelling that happens right the um evidently the thyroid stores is the iodine hog it like I, the tests are all over the place. I was like reading about the tests and what tests you can take and everything else to see. Are you deficient? And there's evidently a real layman's test that exists. Did you get yeah, that? The patch. Did, yeah. So tell them, tell them about that. It's really simple. Um, so you, you go buy the iodine that you would get at CVS or Walgreens. And this, or, for the test, it can't be the clear iodine. <laughs> uh, yeah, the brown. The, the, brown, the brown. The old right, school. Right. Yeah. Old school iodine. I think they actually called it like 5% or something. Okay. But, um, but you literally smear a patch of it onto your skin and you give it 24 hours Mm -hmm. and if you're deficient 
the skin is going to pull that in and it'll basically disappear. Right. Right. And, and, and that means you needed it. If you're not deficient, It'll then a longer. day later, you're, it's still, and, and, and obviously and you can't shower. Yeah, most of the, the websites, viewers, people that I looked at said like really an hour, you'll see if you, if you're severely deficient, an hour is like all it takes. And it, yep. Absorb it in. Yeah, so 24 hours, it should be gone if you're still deficient. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, too. Yeah. So it's 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 so you've talked about some of the negatives. So this is interesting. Um, the people in Japan, uh, Japanese citizens, get about, uh, I think it's 100 times the iodine than normal people. And they typically get it from kelp, seaweed, right? Uh, yeah. Um, they get about 100 times, and they don't have their incidence of cancer is significantly low. So one of the unique benefits of iodine, it shrinks cysts, right? It has anti-cancerous properties. Um, Skin tags and warts uh, break break down, uh, helps break down some uh, poor connective tissues. Um, This one's interesting. I'm gonna try this. My son's got a really nasty scar on his leg from baseball. He dove. Somehow his glasses came off his head and like dug into his knee. We probably should have had him stitched up and we didn't. And now he's got to <laughs> rub some dirt in it. Rubs, I did tell him to rub some dirt on it. And I think he did actually go out and play it again. And I think dirt got in it. So my wife being the nurse, she cleaned it all up, blah, blah, blah. But now he's got this really deep scar. And they say if you take iodine and you put it on the scar once a day for 30 days, it'll, it'll, it'll take care of business. So I'm I'm interested. Take pictures. I'm going to. I'm going to take pictures, and I think we'll have to revisit this and go iodine for scars, iodine for other things. Um, lessens depression, right? Uh, shrinks stones in the parrot glands, something about the glands up here. Uh, helps balance, balance estrogen and reduces acne. Those were some of the benefits that I got of it. So did you read um, about the um, deficiency in pregnant women yes and that if there's there's some deficiencies in that if the mom's not getting it properly you can have some incidences of retardation you're not allowed to say I, that. I, <laughs> incidents i didn't call somebody a retard i said incidences of retardation that's a state of being when y'all attack yeah with questions comments concerns email him at snackcast <laughs> No, so, it, it's actually <laughs> called cretinism. I take it's, offense it's to that. Well, I wondered if that's not the root of the word cretin, but the the that condition impaired development in a child because the mom is deficient of iodine is called cretinism, and it's permanent. And I I googled it and looked at photos of it. We've seen people with this. Never knew it was cretinism, right? But I've seen people with it. So um, you look at it, again. We've talked about pregnancy deficiencies, and this is this is a big deal, man. Yeah. Like you're carrying for one and a quarter. You need to really kind of do your work, yeah, and get your, your minerals that you you that you need. And we're not like we talked about. We're not getting it from food anymore, right? So that being said. Um, Gosh, man, my brain just totally jumped to something. You know, we talk about seafood, but how much of our seafood is even naturally harvested anymore and isn't farmed? Right, right, right. You know, so, I breathe yeah. directly into the... <laughs> <laughs> but but um, you're right, you know, uh, and I, that's probably why, again, Japanese citizens have such less incidence of cancer as well. They might not after the whole... <laughs> Right. Radiation disaster over there. But so I did find one video, regular dad. He has like a dad cast or something. Right. Um, just he chronicles things with his kids and da, 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 da. He um, I don't know what he was dealing with or what condition, but um, he said the best supplement he's found in this space for iodine was actually kelp capsules. That I guess you can get them on Amazon or from your local. There are a ton of those supplement sport, guys you know, that are popular. They dehydrate it, grind it up, and put it in a capsule. And who knew? 
he, kelp. he talked about all kinds of benefits, personal benefits that, you know, from skin clearing up to all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so. I mean, if I had a kid that had acne, you, you'd be on it. You know, yeah. if I had, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to try the, I'm going to try the little uh, iodine on the on the scar and see see that goes. Is it safe to actually supplement that way? Probably not. With, you know, they. They said rub it on it once a day for 30 days. Oh, well, yeah, I guess if it's safe for that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm thinking kelp capsules versus, because iodine's really cheap, I think. I can't tell you isn't the last that, time I bought it. Isn't but. that a common theme amongst our vitamins and minerals? Yeah, go figure. Versus yeah, medicine. Good, good point. So um, how do you become deficient? Uh, we talked about poor soil. Uh, you mentioned ocean food is already poor, right? They're not... Arguably. Their yeah. farms, they're not really grabbing it from the ocean. Um, selenium deficiency. So, again, man, this is we starting to see a common theme in the vitamins and minerals, right? That, that there's a yin and a yang going on when you're bad in one, right? You're, you're bad in the other. Right. Potassium, magnesium. Magnesium. <laughs> magnesium. Potassium, That's magnesium. That's my wrestling I mean, name. What was the one we did the other day that was... If you were low in one, you were low in the other. I oh, it was recall. zinc and um, iron. Iron. I want to say it was zinc and iron. Maybe not. I don't know. But he, again, these these vitamins, and especially these minerals, they, they tend to go hand in hand. When you're low in one, uh, I'd do a Google on that and go, you're probably low or deficient in the other as well. They, they need a partner. Um, radiation exposure is a reason for deficiency uh any kind of fallout uh you know you, you don't wait for a nuclear attack you what's the um iodine is it not potassium is it potassium iodine uh, maybe the supplement uh that you're supposed to take within two hours of radiation exposure or something along those lines and mm. it helps protect the thyroid uh, there are those supplements that exist that you can Go get. I think it's potassium yeah, and, iodine. I mean, I I feel like maybe we skipped over it. You know, if if you're not aware, the thyroid is probably the most important hormone in the body. It's it's like the gas pedal to, for your energy supply. Right. It's um, critical to the, everything from weight loss to weight gain to energy and fatigue. Um, the, you know, so messing with your thyroid is not good. So certain foods reduce iodine. Um, Take a guess. Sugar? I don't have sugar on here. Oh. Start with your oils. Your soy, your corn, your canola, your peanuts. Right out of the gate are wow. depleting of your um, your iodine. Iodine. Yeah. And not just the oil products, your corn products, your um, your millet and your rice. I don't know what millet is. It sounds weird. Um, and then uh, bro bromine, a chemical they put into bread, is depleting. Again, go back to our foods. You, yeah. what, what you eat is depleting your minerals, and that's causing you all kinds of other problems. And then we got a drug that we can give you that will help everything else that will cause four other problems. <laughs> Yay. Right. Uh, percolate. Again, we're going to talk about fluoride probably in a little bit, but percolate is put into a lot of city water. A um, bunch of the different videos that I viewed are big advocates for filter systems on your water coming into your houses because of fluoride and percolate. We'll have to get into that argument in a minute. Um, oral contraceptives and smoking both reduce iodine in your body. It, it makes sense they would have some effect maybe not specifically iodine but yeah obviously smoking and um you said oral contraception we're talking birth control birth control mm -hmm. Hmm. it makes sense i mean you're fiddling with hormones at magnitude i know stuff. you know i mean i i get it that you know a lot of our, the the female menstrual cycles are are in, and for some women they're horrific right i mean the pain the bloating the emotional roller coasters that type of stuff you know i i i have to wonder if 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 that was meant to be i mean you know i ain't going there buddy you're on your own i know uh, i you know my 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 wife and i might have a war over my daughter when it's time for that 
like do we do it do we not do it because once again for every issue that is solved you got 16 yeah. more it's that are hydra. unsolved yep oh hydra yep. cut one off to grow back anything else it's all i got you actually had a lot more than i did um every cell in the body needs iodine every single cell yep i'm gonna go do that test and i think i'm gonna do it today I'm going to go buy some at lunch. We'll slap see. a patch on. Yes. Yeah, see, ha- see how it works. Say rock and roll. Right. Yeah. And then we'll, I think we need to have a test and we need to show it on Monday. Snack cast in like 24 hours. Let's take a picture of yours versus mine. Show me yours. I'll show you Does mine. Does mean I can't shower tonight? <laughs> oh, you stink. You need to shower now. <laughs> So, all right. Are you good? I'm good. This is it. Questions, comments, concerns, hate mail. mail. (laughs) Hit us at snackcast at yes.fit. Stay moving. See ya.